Do you have any original paintings in your home? I have a few, and I want to share them with you. Here's an interesting one. This painting was made by a student of mine. I like this painting because it has many different interpretations. Sometimes I look at it and it seems like I'm looking out a window, perhaps at a garden. Other times I look at it and it seems like the green is water in a pond. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but it's very interesting, almost like a dream. Now this painting was given to me by a professional artist in Russia. We did some work together in Moscow and on my birthday she surprised me with this original painting. I really like the colors in this painting. Now this is a very special painting. It was done by my son. Now he's only two years old, but I think it shows a lot of potential, don't you? I like the bold colors. Did you listen closely as I talked about each painting? In each description of the painting, I used a passive sentence. In English, we can talk about passive and active sentences. In active sentences, someone performs an action. For example, my son made this painting. But in a passive sentence, the subject of the sentence doesn't perform an action, the subject receives an action. This painting was made by my son. So in a passive sentence, we do not have a performer, but a receiver of the action. Okay, let's talk more in detail about what the passive is and how it's formed. What is the passive voice? Grammar books call it either the passive voice or simply the passive. The passive voice is a way of forming sentences so that the focus is on the person or thing receiving the action. This is in contrast to active sentences, which focus on the person or thing performing the action. Here are some examples. An active sentence. A Russian artist gave me an original painting. Passive sentence. An original painting was given to me by a Russian artist. So you see that the sentences have the same basic information, but they have different subjects and that's because they focus on different things. In the active sentence, the focus is on the performer of the action, the artist. In the passive sentence, the focus is on the painting, which receives the action. How is the passive formed? We use be plus the past participle. Original paintings are sold for lots of money. Here, the form of be is are, and the past participle of sell is sold, are sold. It's the form of be that shows us the tense. Look at these three sentences. Let me read them to you first. My portrait was drawn by a street artist. My portrait is being drawn by a street artist. My portrait will be drawn by a street artist. The sentences are the same, but the form of be changes. It's the form of be that shows us the verb tense. First we have the simple past, was. Then we have the present progressive, is being. And then we have simple future, will be. The past participle remains the same. In a passive sentence, we can still name the person or thing that performs the action. We use a by phrase, and it comes at the end of the sentence. For example, the painting was given to me by a student. So the student is the person who performed the action. Now not all passive sentences will use a by phrase. We'll use the by phrase only if it's possible and important to name the person or thing that performs the action. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. Exercise 1. Read the text. Identify the passive sentences. An artist's bright future. 
Gabriella is a talented artist. She was taught by her father, but she has developed her own style. Her work is gaining attention in the art world, and one of her oil paintings was sold for over five hundred dollars. It won't surprise me if one day her work is shown in art museums around the world. Do you see the passive sentences? The first is, she was taught by her father. The second passive construction is in the middle of the paragraph. One of her oil paintings was sold for over five hundred dollars. And the third example of a passive construction? Her work is shown in art museums. Okay, so you understand now that the difference between active and passive sentences is the focus. We can communicate the same information, but focus on different things. And know that when we make the passive, we can only make it with transitive verbs. Transitive verbs are verbs that take an object. Not all verbs are transitive. For example, let's use my son's wonderful painting again. My son painted this picture. My son is the subject and he performed an action. He painted this picture. This picture is the object. Now I can take the object and make it the subject of a passive sentence. This picture was made by my son. This painting was done by my son. So the picture and the painting receive the action. The object of the active sentence became the subject of the passive sentence. But what if I say, this is a beautiful painting? Is there an object? No. I use the verb is, and is doesn't take an object. Get it? Now let's try some exercises. Exercise 2. Read each sentence and state if it's possible to make the sentence passive. Examples. First one. My mother painted this room. Is it possible? Yes. The verb is paint. The object, this room. So we can take the object and make that the subject of a passive sentence. This room was painted by my mother. Second sentence. She painted from morning till night. Is it possible to change it? No. In this sentence, the verb to paint is not transitive. There is no object in this sentence. The third sentence. The room looks bigger and brighter. Can we change it? No, it's not possible. The verb looks is not transitive. There is no object. Number one. Let's go to the museum. Can we change it? No. There is no object. Two. Thousands of people have seen Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Is it possible to change it? Yes. The verb is have seen, and the object is Da Vinci's Mona Lisa. If we were to change it, it would be Da Vinci's Mona Lisa has been seen by thousands of people. 3. Our school holds an art exhibit every year. Can we change it? Yes. The verb is holds, and the object is an art exhibit. And if we change it, it will sound like this. An art exhibit is held by our school every year. Four. Tourists come from all over the world to see Michelangelo's work. 
Is it possible to change it? No. The main verb of this sentence is come, and there is no object. Number 5. Ben will paint with watercolors. Is it possible to change it? No. The verb is will paint and there is no object. The verb is intransitive.